What's up, y'all? In this here video, we work on the old red Ford truck a little bit that I've had for like 6, 7, 8, 24 a year or so now. It was right over here. It will be in a minute. Forgot to record the intro or it was corrupt. I don't know. In this video, for the first few minutes, we struggle to get the old truck moved out of the moved out of its spot that it's sat the last year or two. And then, once we get her into the shop, we just start tearing all down into it a lot. Air in those back tires, and air in that tire. You can even see under them a little bit. I can see that this white car is absolutely littered with the wasp nest, so that's going to be fun. Right now we're going to try just pulling it backwards without getting into it yet. And eventually I'm going to have to steer it to the left or the right. So that should be fun. And if you can see on camera here, hi Muffin, it is just swarming with the waspy fellers right near that tire so that should be fine I think we're gonna try to get in there air that tire up and try dragging on that truck with the other truck without worrying about our blown out tire on the other side here just cuz it's so dangerous around that vehicle right now We've made it that far. Really expected those front wheels to turn one way or the other, not stay dead straight like that, but you know. I was hoping with me tugging her to that direction it would make it steer, but it didn't steer. Okay. Now I got my jack here at the front, lifted up on the front end. Turn the wheels as far to the left as they can go without running into my bent up framework here on this truck. Then we got some more air and a really leaky tire. And we'll try pulling it backwards again and see if we can miss the shed behind it. are just not quite making it. Now I think we might have to turn the wheels the other way and push it back that way then come back this way. Well, I'm finally pulling off of that shredded front tire here. Try popping another wheel on it that holds a little bit more of the wind. Ooh! We got fresh rubber brake lines. And those shocks probably aren't that old either. Got nice new parts on the old rig we've never seen before in the seven years we've had it. Anyway, I'll try popping that other wheel on there and maybe then when I steer them one direction they might stay there a second longer. Probably not. I don't know. Woo! 
after a bunch of moving it back and forth I've made it this far we're right at the front of the door now I think I can push up behind it again push it forward into the shop then maybe the front end will come over to the left a little like it needs to and then when we're on the pavement it should be easier to steer those front wheels around and we'll push it on in A little dark but it's in there now after all that time we moved the old truck from right there to right there now she's actually in the shop I've done blown the bed out of it all the leaves out of the bed this bed is in much much nicer shape than the one in our truck over there the other the gray bull nose still got to get the rest of that metal out of there but look at the lack of the rust holes just get into there this looks fine now the next thing we get to do up here probably after work tomorrow because I'm tired now there's a lot of work getting it in here but the next thing we'll be doing is tearing down all our bent broken pieces that are up here a lot of stuff's already been cut out of the way by the previous owner but we're gonna get in and remove the rest of this uh, core support here see the bottom bit the rest of it there we're gonna get that fender off and then we'll pull both the inner fender whales that one should be easy to get to and we'll start just taking everything apart all our systems and connections on that engine there we're gonna delete on all the most of that vacuum stuff everything that has anything to do with emissions and EGR she's coming off and never going back on and eventually we'll get everything torn all the way down to where it's just frame rails and motor and then we'll pull the motor and trans out of the old truck and then we'll do more things from there I've discovered a couple neat things about it already like for starters that's not the uh, original type of distributor that came in the truck. That guy is an old school points distributor, which is kind of nifty. Check on into it. Maybe you can tell. That's a set of points and a condenser in there. So I thought that was pretty neat. That means somebody did a conversion on it over time. You can tell by the way that it is. that she's had a lot of conversioning done but look at this, I thought this was neat down here this guy is a crankshaft position sensor I didn't know that was a thing in 1982 that might explain on a bunch of the extra wires over here on top of this vacuum bladder guy this is a map sensor I believe manifold absolute pressure you could tell this one says vent to uh, vent and over here this one says manifold so there used to be a vacuum line that ran from here to the motor and it had all sorts of the terrible electronic try and save the fuel economy and really just give you horrible fuel economy for the emissions and all that back here we have all the original EGR stuff so we're gonna have a 
whole bunch of uh, vacuum things to remove and never put back. For a while, when we long ways down the road, when we have this motor rebuilt and we're playing with it in the uh, 92 cop car, for a while we'll be using this old two barrel, but at some point that two barrel's got to go. Maybe we can get a high rise intake manifold on it. Anyway, let's get to removing and tearing down into things more. I don't think I've showed you guys too much yet about how wrecked it is. You may be able to tell if I'm not too close to it. See my driver's side frame rail over there? Easy. See my driver's side frame rail over there? That one is bent pretty bad and shortened, but look at the passenger side frame rail. So that's going to be really neat to get everything torn down to the frame rails and see exactly how bad the accident this thing was in is on it. Check the damage. Alright, coming right along. I'm surprised that inner fender well came out so easily. Didn't have very many mounting points left after they were all smashed off. Now, I got all this wire harness out of the way. Got a few good light bulbs in it too. Now I'm going to come over here. You might, no, you can't see it at all. Anyway, there's a body mount down there. She goes right there. It looks horrible. So I'm going to fight with that for the next half hour. And then, in the next instance, after that, I think the, what's left of that core support might just come right off of there. And then I can show you how bad the frame is on the front of this truck. Well, that looks different. That'll get you a real good look in at how she handled that front impact. The feller I bought this truck from must have hit somebody hard. I believe he said uh, he accidentally rear-ended somebody on a, a highway somewhere. The damage definitely agrees with a highway impact with somebody that was sitting still. Oh, I bet he shoved him into the car in front of him. Anyway, now we're moving over here to the other fender. By the way, isn't that just astounding how horribly bad this wreck was and how destroyed most of this frame is? And that fender, she's mint. Like, just 
have a look onto it there, fellers. Oh my goodness. How bad of a wreck that was, and that fender is like perfect as far as the dents are concerned. Even up here where the uh, big steel bumper used to be, there's like a little dent, but hardly anything at all. Woo. So that is just amazing how bad that accident was, and we still have a really straight driver's side fender. Passenger side fender, she was just gone when I got the truck. Poof, disintegrated. As well as the hood and the mother bits that weren't on it. The previous owner had removed on all that. So, yep. Now we'll take that bit, those bits out. Well, that was amazing. Yeah. See, I've got the inner fender well taken loose from the fender, which was absolutely astounding because somehow all four or five of these little Phillips head screws that hold the plastic to the metal there, every single one of them just backed out. And I just don't even understand how that was possible, but let's not question it. Look at the mess. I know, right? Get out of my mess, bagel. Just look at all the stuff. And yeah, see, bottle of STP. <laughs> all the stuff that fell out when I dropped this fender down here. What a mess. Anyway, now we can remove on our last inner fender. That last fender looks really funny out there now. Just shooting out into the breeze. Yep, that's that's hilarious. We need to remove that. <laughs> but look at the frame damage on this thing, fellers. Holy. If you can't tell, that used to be in a straight line, and now she's just got a big... That big giant mess about wraps up me taking this thing apart for an evening. And here in the next second, it'll be the next day. And at some point, it'll be the end of this video. And then we'll tear it apart some more in another video. <laughs> we'll go ahead and start wrapping this one video up here. But here's the progress that I've made thus far. You see that fender's off. And we have a lot less of the things on the firewall. So, right now what the plan is... Oh, also, there's no doors on it. They ain't got no doors on it. Anywho, what the plan here is, right in the now, is we're going to take the, in the next video on this project, we're going to take the cab off of it eventually, like before she rolls back out of the shop. So in the next video, we'll be pulling the engine and trans train right up out of it. We'll add it to my collection of motors that need the rebuilding. Eventually, we're going to tear into one of those. And here on the inside of the truck, you see we're torn down pretty good. We're going to take the dash and all completely out of it and just make it a bare cab. And then I want to take the whole cab off of the frame and get it set up, clean that whole corner out and get it like set up on a stand of sorts in that corner. And then over time I can be like trying to do some rust repair on it and decide between this cab and the cab on the the old truck that we drive every day, which one's in better shape. I know this one has a lot better firewall in it, but my other truck has a better floor. So you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta figure some things out. Maybe this is the cab to use. It's got a better windshield in it too, so that's good. <laughs> but maybe we'll just use this whole cab and try to repair on the floor rust. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. We'll tear more stuff apart. Oh my goodness, my frame rails. Right guys?